Can I get you to say and spell your name for me? <coughs> Dustin Robbins. What did you think about that flight? It's a good flight, yeah. It's different from the B-24. How so? Well, it's more cramped. But it's a good flight. Any flight you come back from is a good flight. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you're feeling today. Well, I'm happy to be out here. I'm happy that I can make it out here. And you meet a lot of people, old timers. Did it bring back some memories? Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it was a safe one. Now, when you were in the war, did you have any close calls over there in those planes? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we got shot up about four times. Came back three times by ourselves. Really? Low level. Uh, we started to bail out once, and we started to go to Sweden once. We could, they all got wouldn't bail out, so we stayed with it. You think other people will enjoy this flight as much as you do? I'm sure. It's a revelation to a lot of them, because I've asked them. What have they said? It's noisy and windy. But it's not like it used to be because I got insulation in that thing now. I took that out of the ship. That's German 88 millimeter. Now where was that? Right behind the pilot. There was two glass tubes measuring the gas and this went right between them. Really? So 2,000 gallons of gas that went right between them. So that's a good look charm. And uh, how old were you when that happened? 21. 21. And where were you flying? We flew out of England. I flew an outfit called Robinson's Raunchy Razors. Named after you. <laughs> we, did, we didn't follow all the rules. Why not? Well, the crew enjoyed doing something different. Besides taking off and landing. Yeah. But I had a good crew, real good crew. Yeah. Brought them all back. Every one of them came back. How's that make you feel? Good, real good. I kept up with them. Too. They're all dead now, but I kept up with them to the last one died. You feel that some of them may have been out there with you today? <laughs> you think that some of them may have been with you up there today? Some of them knew what we were doing, yeah. Yes, I mean, what we were doing. It's different. Oh, yeah. First, can I get you to say and spell your name for me? My name is Leo Lacasse. I understand you are a, hold a certain rank? I'm a Brigadier General. All right. So tell me, when you, uh, you flew these... Yes, I did. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, it's a very fine aircraft. It's one of the finest aircraft that ever flew combat. A bomber, at least, like that. Four engines. Of course, jets, of course, is a different aircraft now. But this was a very, very remarkable aircraft. And it took a lot of bombs and it went to a lot of places. And how many missions did you fly? I did 35. Really? Yeah. And any trouble in those missions? I landed on the ground three times. <laughs> what was that like? Not with my wheels. Yeah. Flat on the bottom. <laughs> and how old were you at that time? I was 21 years old. Yeah. Really? yeah. And what was going through your head in all this? Not much of anything. You didn't have time to think of anything. And now when you see this plane so many years later, what kind of memories is this? A lot of memories, a lot of memories, yeah. Memories of the crew that I had. I had three crews off course and lost all three of them. Yeah. But it was, it was a remarkable aircraft and we went a lot of places that nobody else was going. Competition with a small airplane. So, what's the biggest challenge to fly one of these planes? Flying is no challenge. You learn how to fly it, and then it's just like any other aircraft. You fly it. And this was a very easy airplane to fly. Really? Yes, it was. You think you can get back in and fly it today? You remember it? Oh, very easily. Yeah. Yeah, if I had my legs, I could fly that today. Really? No question about it. My, I had 1,300 hours in that airplane. Really? Yes. Can you tell me your most memorable flight? 
I think one of the shuttle missions from from England to Africa was probably the most memorable because we lost an awful lot of airplanes. We lost 60 airplanes on that flight uh, going to the, our target, and then coming back we only lost one. So it's a big difference. But it was a, a very memorable flight to take. It, it was an 11-hour mission. We only had 10 and a half hours of fuel. A lot of the airplanes were flying in the Mediterranean Sea in Africa because they were out of fuel. We lost probably about 20 or 30 airplanes that way, just landing in the, in the sea, no no fuel. Then when you landed in Africa, it was a pure steel plank uh, uh, runway, and that was no no runway for a B-17. Fighter aircraft were fine, but not for a B-17. And we lost a lot of tires, a lot of wheels were taken off. And, we lost a, a lot of airplanes on the ground. Is this just how you remember it? Does it look just like it? It's the same airplane. This thing was flying when I was flying, too. Really? In 1943. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yes, it is. Yeah. Any other feelings that you're feeling today that you want to express? Although, although yesterday... I have a feeling with the, all of the troops that were lost in combat in 1943 and 44. And uh, that's a sad thing, because we lost an awful lot of Air Force. You know, the 8th Air Force lost more people than the Army, Navy, and Marines for all put together during the war. The 8th Air Force, only the 8th Air Force lost that many people. Isn't that shocking? That's all, I didn't know that. That's right. And anything else you'd like to say, I didn't get to let you talk about No, I think you're very kind to, to listen to me. I have nothing more to say. And, uh, you're, you're a very fine photographer, and I had my second career as a photographer. Really? Oh, yes, I, I was an LPGA photographer. And I covered all of the, 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 the uh, uh, tournaments uh, all through the United States and some overseas as well. For the people, the people. Really? Yes. Well, looking at this plane, I saw some great places to take pictures of. It seems like you yeah. got plenty of windows. Did you ever take any pictures when you were up in one? No. Yeah. Didn't think of it. <laughs> I don't even ever. You were too busy. That's right. The first picture I've had with the B-17, my daughter took. Are you familiar with that uh, place in, uh, in the Virginia Beach, where this very wealthy man has all World War II airplanes, and on the Veterans Day? He flies in across the, on the ocean at, at Virginia Beach just one time and lands and that's it. But he's got about 40 or 50 airplanes and he has a B-17. That was the first airplane picture I've had taken with, with a B-17. So when you joined the service, did you know you wanted to be a pilot? I wanted to be a fighter pilot more than anything else. A fighter pilot, mind you. I wanted to fly that single engine airplane and get out of the way when I had to. This thing you don't get out of the way. You sit there and wait. So but, it's a whole different strategy. Oh, it was, yeah. But you know, after I got used to it, uh, that was it. There was nothing I could do to change. So I went to fly B-17. And I guess this B-17 has taken you all over the world. So, yes, I has, and saved my life many, many times. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you for, thank you for listening to me.